Hey, Scott Gordon here. Ham radio operator, NT8Z. Hey, today I want to give you an unbiased review about my MFJ998 auto tuner. Let me show you a couple things. I've owned this MFJ998 tuner probably for eight years. I've had it inside my shack, connected to many different radios. Today it's connected to a Yaesu FTDX710. Uh, I've had it hooked to my Flex 5000, my Anon 100, my Flex 3000, my Flex 1000. It'll connect to any radio uh, and be a great tuner. This is a full legal limit tuner, uh, 1500 watts, and I've had awesome success with this tuner. I have not had any trouble. I've actually installed this outside in my, inside my shed and connected a um, inverted L at the base, and that antenna played very very good until. Um, some strong winds actually blew the tree down, so I don't have it out in the shed anymore. If you go to my QRZ page on NT8Z, you can actually see a video of uh, how that performed on um, 10 through 160 meters. So this, this tuner will work 10 through 160. Um, it will not work on 6 meters. Um, and you can, it's got two antenna ports in the back, uh, so you can have two antennas connected to it. I normally just have one. I have a coax switch, and I just switch out the one. The tuner does have memories in it, so it knows where you're at. I do have this connected via a cable to my uh, Yaesu FTTX uh, 710. So if I want to go to, let's just... Um, we'll go up here to I don't want to tune up on this I don't want to tune up on him but to tune the antenna it's simple you just go over here and press tune and your your tune as you can see here, it knows exactly where I'm at. 18136. Um, and it should be tuned. Oh, there it is. Didn't tune the first time. I didn't I didn't hold it long enough. But um, it is tuned now. And that's how quick and easy it is. Um, To, uh, to tune your antenna. So it's very, very easy. You can you can band hop. Um, I highly recommend getting the cable that interfaces to your radio, uh, either ICOM, Yaesu. I did not have a cable that interfaced to my Flex or my Anon, but I just pressed the tune button on the radio and the RF would, would tune it. But boy, having the cable connected to a Yaesu, Kenwood, or ICOM, and I'll list the cables below, um, it is quick and easy. So, highly recommend this tuner. Again, I've had it for eight years. I haven't had a bit of trouble with it. I use it all the time. I guess I'm not... The, the meter tells you whether you got SWR or not. It also has a peak reading meter here in the display. I don't pay much attention to either one of them. Um, I look at my uh, SWR on my radio, and I also have a wave node connected that uh, looks at my uh, PEP power as well as my SWR that I use. But I highly recommend this MFJ998. It'll be a great addition to your shack. Thanks for watching.